Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today's question is leak code 733, flood fill. So an image is represented by an m by n integer grid image where image rj represents the pixel value of the image. You're also given three integers, sr, sc, and color. You should perform a flood fill on the image starting from the pixel image sr, sc. To perform a flood fill, consider the starting pixel plus any pixels connected for directionally to the starting pixel of the same color as the starting pixel, plus any pixels connected four directionally to those pixels also with the same color, and so on. Replace the color of all the aforementioned pixels with color. Return the modified image after performing the flood fill. Okay, so there's a lot to take in from the initial statement. So essentially what we have to do is we have a starting point. This one in the center is our starting point, and it's represented as an image where the row is one, and the source is one. And what we need to do is wherever we find a one, we update it to two. As you can see, we've updated it to two here. And then we move to its four directionally connected pixels. So the pixel above, the pixel to the right, the pixel below, and the pixel to the left. We check those to see if they're the same as this starting pixel, this one, and we update those to two. So we'll update this value to two and this value to two. Zeros can stay the same. And then we'll perform the same operation on this one and this one, and we'll end up with something like this. So I think the tricky part of this question is just breaking down the initial statement into its own sub problems. And what we'll do is we'll go through that in this walkthrough. So let's run through this and see how it works out. So we update this value to two because it's equal to a one. We move to its four adjacent values. So up, right, down, and left. Let's say we went right. At this point, we're at zero. We need to make the check if this is equal to the original of one, it's not, so we return from this. We don't carry out the search on this the recursive call and return back to the original pixel. Let's say we go down. This again is zero, so we return from this. We go left, this is equal to one, great. So we have found a pixel that is equal to the original. We can update this to two and we can recurse. Let's say we recurse right. We go back to the original pixel and this is equal to two now. So what's going to happen at this point? We're going to create an infinite loop. We'll have to make some kind of additional check to see whether the image at source row and column, if that is equal to color. So if it's equal to two, then again, we'll just return from this because there's nothing else we need to do really, right? It's been updated to the value of two, which is the color that we're trying to change to. So we can just return from this. Let's say we go down. We have a one here. Great. We can update this to two and we can recurse in these four directions. Now let's say we go to zero. We can't go anywhere from this because zero doesn't equal the original value of one. So there's no updating of this pixel. So we go back, we go down. This is outside the images perimeter, right? So this will be out of bound. And the same with going left. So we need to make a check for that. So we have rows and columns. So if a row is less than zero or a row is greater than image, dot length minus one, then it's out of bound. We have columns as well. So if a column is less than zero or a column is greater than image at zero dot length minus one, because remember this board is M times N. So the column could be greater or less than the row. So we need to check at zero, then it's out of bound. So these two are out of bounds, they're a no go. So we exit this. So we've currently checked the right side below. And now if we go left here, this is going to be out of bound. So the only extra recursive call we can make at this pixel is going above. We're at one, great. We can update this to two. We go up, left, down, right. We can't go up, we can't go down. We don't go back because it's equal to two. So we can only go right. We update this to two, we recurse in all four directions. We don't go back because it's equal to two. We don't go down because it's equal to two. Up is out of bound. So the only way we can go is to one here. We update this to two, we recurse. We don't recurse this way because we've already visited this. We don't recurse down because it's equal to zero. Right is out of bound, up is out of bound. So we can exit this recursive call and just return the image to the previous recursive call. In this recursive call, we've checked all four directions. So again, we can return to the previous recursive call. It's the same with this one. We've checked all potential directions. So we return to the previous call. Same with this one. 
return. And now we're at the initial recursive call. Here we can just return the image. So time complexity for this one is going to be om times n because we have to loop through every position within the board. And space is also going to be om times n. Okay, so let's start off by defining the original pixel that we're on. So const original is going to equal image at source row, source column. Now, because we're using recursion, we'll create a function for this. We're going to pass in image, source row, source column, and then we're going to call this and return its value. So firstly, we need to check the boundaries. So if SR is less than zero, or SR is greater than image.length minus one, or SC is less than zero, or SC is greater than image at zero dot length minus one. We'll also need to make a check to see whether the current pixel we're on doesn't equal the original value of one. So if image SR SC doesn't equal original, and we'll also need to make another check to see whether image at SR SC, if the pixel is equal to the color. So if it's already equal to two as in example one, then we can just return the image, right? Because there's no need to carry out the recursive call on this pixel. Then we can update the pixel to the color. And then we need to recurse in four different directions. So up, down, left, and right. So let's call the recursive function again. And we need to update the row. So plus one will go down, minus one will go up, and also the column. So plus one will, will go right, minus one will go left. And then finally, we need to return something from this. So we'll return the image. Okay, let's give that a go. Submit it. And there you go.